Hey everyone, my name is Bogdan and welcome to Acura Addicted channel, helping you to navigate in the world of automotive repairs, maintenance and reviews. In the seventh and the last episode of the second season of the Make Acura Great Again project, I'm gonna show you how to change spark plugs. As always, the Russian version link is in the description. Let's roll! You need to change the spark plugs along with other procedures when a code 4 is displayed on the maintenance minder, which usually happens for MDX every 100,000 miles or 165,000 kilometers. The rest of the procedures will be covered in other videos. Meanwhile, here's how you change the spark plugs. Warning: The filming was made in the hottest Hollywood epileptic cameraman style, so viewer discretion is advised. Here's what you need to be able to complete this job. 6 new spark plugs, Denso or NGK, part numbers in the description. 3 8 inch ratchet, 10 mm socket, 5 8 inch socket, medium 3 8 inch ratchet extension, extension with a magnet or a spark plug tool, flat screw driver. You may also need or just want to use torque wrench if you want to properly torque your fasteners, magnetic tray. Alright, let's get to it. First, remove the radiator plastic trim. Detach 8 plastic clips. Now remove the engine plastic cover, turning flat plastic screws 90 degrees counterclockwise. Pull the cover up and toward yourself. There. Now disconnect the wiring to the ignition coils. You don't need to mark the connectors, as they are organized in a manner that will not allow you to reconnect them incorrectly. Three connectors on the front, and three in the back. You can remove a connector by pressing the clips on both sides. Then remove the 10mm nuts securing the coils. Three in the front, and removing coils from the front. Inspect them for deterioration, cracking and tears. These seem to be in order. in the back. Here are all six of them. Let's put them aside. Next step is the spark plugs removal. Using a 3 8 inch ratchet and a 5 8 inch socket, insert it into the spark plug well. Secure it over the spark plug and turn it counterclockwise. You should be able to easily remove spark plugs applying medium force. In my case, it's fine. Then 
Then I'm taking a cheap spark plug tool with a floating head and a rubber attachment for extracting spark plugs. Here's the first one. Let's remove the rest of them. Finally, all six are here. The condition differs. I'll be using the NGK replacements, although it's being discussed more and more lately that Denso is preferable. Either way, both of the OEM spark plugs Honda is using for these MDX. Warning: Installing spark plugs is a delicate process that does not tolerate brute force, or you are risking to cross threads and welcome bigger problems. These are the spark plugs with iridium-covered electrodes that do not require gap adjustment or threads coating, as they come pre-coated. Just lower the spark plug into the well and manually turn it clockwise. You should be able to feel if it's screwing in easily. If you feel you need to apply force right away, you should back the spark plug and try it again until you find the proper thread direction. When you installed it, tighten it very lightly manually. The torque spec for these is only 13 pound-feet of torque. Then install the ignition coils and secure them with the nuts. Moment of truth, starting the engine. Success! The engine is running normally, and I can't feel any excessive vibration. Also, there are no errors displayed. Don't forget to reinstall the plastic engine cover and radiator plastic trim. That's it! If this was helpful, rate the video, leave your comments below and hit that subscribe and bell buttons for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching. Drive safe, use your turn signals and remember, anything is possible with the right tools and motivation.